Hey guys, what is up? JT Tapius. And today I want to answer a question that I received recently in an email. And the email said, how do I find a mentor? If you're anything like me, uh, we've all had mentors and people in our lives that have really, really impacted our way of thinking, have reframed ideas for us and have allowed us to really excel in life simply by being around these people. And maybe these people are people that have already experienced or you know, have uh, had success in different areas that you're trying to achieve success. And these people have guided you in the right direction, have given you a blueprint. And because you've seeked these mentors out, you have actually saved six months, a year, two years, three years in a learning curve. And so the ability to actually have a mentor, the ability to actually seek out mentors is one of the most impactful ways to hack any learning curve in life. I'm often so impressed with my three-year-old daughter, how she's already bilingual. She can recite different books of the Bible. Uh, she knows probably over 20 songs every single day. She comes home from school and she's learned something new and, and, and then she can recite it. Uh, and this is not, you know, these aren't short things. These are pretty long things that she's reciting. She's learning song after song after song. And I'm constantly thinking like, man, why do we stop? Why do we stop growing? Why do we stop learning? And usually you have from the infant stage, probably up to 12 years old, when people are like sponges. And I have to assume that the ability to absorb concepts so quickly, so rapidly, is simply because two reasons. They have mentors, parents that they're receptive to because they're just learning, they're, they're forming their mental picture of the world and they're getting that from parents so they're receptive to that. Um, they, they, they need to depend on parents, they lean on parents, they listen to parents probably up to the age of 12. After that, things get a little difficult, but they're super receptive and they stay curious. Curiosity is, is, is one of the things that we see in kids is, is so prominent, right? We see that kids are super, super curious about things. And because of that, they're constantly learning. They're constantly moving. They have parents also that keep them accountable to school, to the things they're learning. Um, parents are giving them feedback on specific things. And because of that mentorship and that curiosity and that accountability, people learn at a tremendous rate. So in my mind, I'm trying to think, you know, how do I mimic this? How do I model this pattern so that I can continue to learn ongoing? I don't have to just stop at 12, but by the time I'm 50, I'm still uh, absorbing and, 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 and bringing in concepts like a sponge. How do I do that? And one of the ways to do that, and one of the, the, the ways that I, I believe that we continue to grow and expand as human beings is by having mentors in our lives. And so how do we find a mentor, right? I seek out mentors in all different areas of life. I have one specific person that I go to for most of my matters, but then I have other little things in life that I seek specific people out because they've, they've already done it. They've been in the trenches. Um, you know, they are people that are actually living what I would like to live out. They're experiencing what I would like to experience in a certain area. So I seek those people out. So one of the best ways to, to do that is to basically look at, look, look for people that are doing the thing that you want to do. Right. And mentorships sometimes are paid mentorships, depending on the area of expertise that you're looking for. I would say if it's a stranger, and it's someone that's out there in the public eye, most likely they're gonna require some form of payment. That could be money, or that could be, uh, you can go and work for that person for free and offer your work for free simply because you wanna shadow, you wanna learn. And that's another way to uh, pay for mentorship. I know that high-end mentorship, when you're trying to actually uh, obtain some kind of qualifications, uh, you're trying to learn from someone that's actually out there making money from their expertise, those people usually, charge and they charge a lot of money. I've heard of mentorships of up to $200,000 a year, depending on what it is you're trying to do. But the promise there is that the return on investment is going to be tenfold because these people have been in the trenches. They've made the mistakes. Uh, they've had all the hard times uh, trying to figure things out for themselves. And now they're going to pass that information on to you. And so they charge large amounts of cash. And depending on what you're trying to do, that may or may not be uh, worth it for you. What I will say is this, there are so many people out there that have a good heart that simply want to see you do well. They want to see you excel and they're willing to mentor you completely for free. Now, 
there are some limitations to that because when someone offers their time and you're not paying for their time, you kind of have to be patient and you have to be able to accommodate to their schedules and to whatever it is they're teaching you. Whereas when you have an actual mentor that's charging you, uh, say a coach, a fitness coach, a nutrition coach, then that coach, uh, you're paying for that coach's time and that coach is going to be more available. That coach is going to have a breakdown and a schedule of what it is you're doing and what it is you're learning on a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and maybe even by semester and by year. And there's a curriculum that they're actually selling you. And so there's a lot of value to that. And so if you're looking for a mentor on the other side, one of the things I would say is find a mentor that's doing exactly what it is you want to do. And if it's worth it to you, pay, because when we pay, we pay attention and we're more accountable and we actually take action and we do what we say we were going to do. I've had situations where people have come to me to ask for mentorship, for training, for nutrition, and I've just been kind-hearted and I've said, sure, you know, I'll, I'll download some of this information, come shadow me, come see me. And what ends up happening nine out of 10 times is that that person doesn't even stay for a week. Not because the mentorship is bad or because the training is bad. It's simply that they're not invested in it. And so when you start this mentor relationship, I would say that taking money, your hard earned money out of your pocket and paying a coach to mentor you is one of the best investments you could ever make on yourself. And don't stay there. Learn whatever you need to learn from that mentor and then seek another mentor and continue to grow. And if you do that, you're going to be very much like, a three-year-old that is just absorbing and learning and moving forward. And these are the people that you see and you go, wow, how did that person obtain so much knowledge? And how does that person know so much? And how, how come that person is doing so well in X, Y, Z area of their life? And it's simply because they were very intentional about seeking mentorship and finding someone that could teach them uh, how to, you know, shorten that learning curve and time is money. And so uh, sometimes we put a lot of value to money, but money you can make again time. You can never make your, your time. You can never bring that time back. And so it's worth shortening that learning curve, hiring a mentor and making sure that you're hitting your goals, having someone there keeping you accountable. And once again, if you pay for that mentorship, you're going to reap the benefits. You're going to see amazing results on the other side. And I'm a huge fan of mentorship. Sometimes I just get that through books, but most of the time I like in-person type of mentorship someone that already has a curriculum, a plan for me. I get into that plan, that mentor keeps me accountable. And then I go out there into the world and I put these things to practice and it's a beautiful process. I highly recommend if you're looking to excel in life to find a live mentor, follow that mentor and you're gonna see a hundred plus, a hundred times, a hundred X return on your investment. So I hope you got something out of this. This is JT. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're constantly putting up different subjects and talking about fitness, mindset, nutrition, and all different hacks in life that allow you to excel at an at a accelerated rate. So if you're looking for more of this information, click the link below and we'll see you soon.